Today is the first video in the series Road to Pro. I'm going to teach you how to rank up from Silver in Counter-Strike 2. This includes face at level 1 and 2 and 0 to 2000 RMR points in the Premier Matchmaking system. We are going to cover every single rank in the series until we get all the way to the top and teach you how to become a pro. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can follow up with every video as you progress through the game that we all love the most. I want to make sure you guys are the best players possible. But before we get into that, if you guys love trading CS2 skins, I have a message from the sponsor of the video that will be perfect for you. SkinSwap is the sponsor of today's video. They are also kind enough to sponsor you with a free bonus by clicking on the link in the description. SkinSwap is the ultimate place for Counter-Strike 2 and Rust skins with a massive trading inventory in a top tier marketplace offering the most competitive rates out there. The best part is that you can earn an insane 40% deposit bonus when you use the link in the description. Combine that with the top of the line selling feature, including multiple different cash out methods and their trading feature, which takes under a minute. And there is absolutely no reason to not sign up with the link in the description. All right. Shout out to SkinSwap. They're an amazing company. So let's get into it. So let's understand what silver is, right? So at the end of the day, if you are in silver face at level one to two or zero to 2000 premier rating points, you are honestly a bad player. Now that doesn't have to stay like that, right? But let's just accept it because I already know I'm going to look at the comments of this video and there's going to be so many comments. There's going to be a million comments saying, but I don't deserve to be in silver. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm better than everybody else. Guys, trust me. At the end of the day, you are in silver for a reason. And the only way you're going to get out of silver is if you accept that you are not a good player and that you start to try to improve that and become better. Some of you guys are brand new to this game. You're not going to be good at it at first. Some of you have thousands of hours and you're still in silver. That's okay. We're going to make sure that you can improve and get better. But first, it's that acceptance of where you're at and the type of player that you are. So let's discuss some of the common issues that silvers face inside of Counter-Strike 2. Now, the thing I see them struggle with the most is communication, map knowledge, aim, and game sense. So we're going to talk about these today and how you can improve and get better with these different mechanics inside of the game so that we can really start to see improvement. Because when I watch Silver's play, it is very hard to, to watch some of this stuff. So let's talk about aim and reflexes first. So aim is crucial in Counter-Strike 2. It is so important, right? Obviously, it's an FPS and you're going to have to be sharp and be able to shoot back. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you in pre improve your aim and get better at it. So I want you to practice in aim maps, death matches, including Valve and non-Valve deathmatch servers. Non-Valve deathmatch servers are going to be very fast paced and you're going to get a chance to play against pros and get destroyed and it's going to help you get better. Um, you need to utilize aim training maps as well to enhance your aim because at the end of the day, this is what's going to develop your, you know, your reaction time, how fast you are, you know getting comfortable with each and every weapon inside the game. So just really focus on, you know, playing these maps and getting down that practice so that you can start to understand the weapons a little bit better. But most importantly is crosshair placement. You need to make sure that when you're going around the map, you're keeping your crosshair at head level to ensure that you're quicker and get more accurate shots. A lot of you guys, when you're playing, it's like you're, you know, you're aiming at the ground or you're aiming 30 feet into the air because you don't know better. You don't know where you're supposed to be aiming, but just always imagine in your head, where can I get swung from? Where can the enemy peek me? And put your crosshair there. No more putting your crosshair on the floor. No more putting your crosshair on the middle of a wall or you know, 30 feet in the sky. That's the biggest thing you need to change because I see every silver making that mistake. They are just putting their crosshair in a random spot. Now, another thing is guys, you're probably brand new to this game and you're not gonna be good at the game until you understand maps and positioning. Map knowledge is so important. You can get so bad, so much better at Counter-Strike just from watching pros play or just from looking at a map of, you know, Mirage, Inferno, Overpass, whatever maps you're trying to learn, just look at, at a map at it and start to understand the rotation points, where people can play, you know, uh, where people rotate from, where they flow in, where the T's can run out at you, where the spawns are, just study the map and understand the choke points and common positions. Now, that's why it's important to watch pros because you need to understand where you're supposed to be playing, right? 
if you're brand new to the game, you have no clue where you should be going and you're just running around like a chicken with its head cut off. So really start to understand what positions suit your play style and understand like, okay, this is B-Site Mirage. I should be holding like this and I'm not supposed to rotate. When you start to understand that in the game and stop just running around mindlessly, trust me, that is seriously when you start to rank up and become a better player for your team. Now, speaking of team, being an effective team player and having good communication is so, so important. It is. If you're able to commute, communicate and, uh, you know, effectively talk to your teammates, it's going to make their life easier and you're going to help them out. Because like I said, you're in silver, right? Everybody's trying to do their best and everybody's pretty bad, to be honest. Communication can be so important where you're just like, hey, uh, somebody can flank you right now. Or, hey, I, I'm going to push through apartments and B-apps here. Uh, d you know, stay alive. Can you guys run away or go here? And like, like you got to understand, m most times in silver, people aren't going to listen to you. They're not going to care. But it's just so important to start building that communication because it, it's going to matter so much. So make sure you have a good microphone. You, you know, typing in chat is not going to cut it. It's not going to be good because you're going to be distracted. It's not fast enough. Don't do that. Just literally just start getting a good mic, invest in that, and it's going to be great for you. So yeah but at the end of the day too you just need to develop your game sense and stuff in, in silver right um game sense is just going to come with time it's it's understanding and predicting the enemy movement the enemy economy management and with do with that information making informed decisions right so that's what having game sense means and that's only going to come from learning from your mistakes you need to analyze your gameplay identify mistakes and focus on improving one aspect at a time in order to develop that game sense and get better so you know guys at the end of the day the biggest thing we need to have is consistency, right? Consistency and practice. If you're watching this video, you clearly care about getting better at Counter-Strike, right? And at the end of the day, you need to play regularly, regularly. I can't say that word. You need to play a lot. Sorry, I, I don't know why I can't say that word. You need to play a lot and you need to be able to maintain and enhance your skills, right? If you're just playing Counter-Strike once a week, you're not you're not gonna get better, trust me. You're not gonna get better. It's, it's just, you're playing for fun, which is great. Good, play for fun. But if you wanna get better, you have to play a lot. And, you know, you got to take your practice routine seriously. Pr create a practice schedule that focuses on aim, math knowledge, and teamwork. And it's going to allow you to get better at these tangible things, right? These things that you can actually progress in and get better at so that you can watch my next video in the series when it comes out on how to rank up from Gold Nova, right? So you're at the bottom right now. This is the easiest time to progress if you just put in the work and make it happen. So let's just summarize everything that I've talked about so far, guys. Remember it's going to take time it's going to take practice and climbing ranks is not easy right you need to learn from your experiences in your games you need to take your training seriously in order to get out of silver everyone wants to get out we don't want to be in silver we want to leave so trust me learn from my past experience it took me a long time because i didn't know what i was doing you're already one step ahead of where i was because i had no clue you know how to watch guides or what to be doing how to improve so you're gonna make it just you know be be motivated, be consistent, and nothing's going to stop you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you. Subscribe to my channel if you want more pro tips and tricks, and check out all my videos. I have so much good stuff, especially if you're a new player. You are going to be set if you just watch the videos on my channel. I promise you. I promise you you're going to have so much good insight, good settings, good everything, and you know, you're just going to be one step ahead of everyone else at your rank. So share this with any friends that you have, anybody you want to get into Counter-Strike 2, and you guys can start grinding together because it is so much better to play with friends. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Appreciate every single one of you. You're all amazing. Have a great rest of your day. Keep grinding. Good luck in your matches.